Z has updated the game yet again, for three daily updates in a row. And this update is one that I'll call the Hakari update, because of just how much it impacts Hakari. From a new move, to some major buffs, with a few sleeping nerfs to balance things out. That's not to say that's everything, since Gojo is also impacted, but it's mostly just Hakari. There will be some analysis at the end if you want to know my thoughts on the update, but for now, I'll explain every single change made in this update. There's a new move for Hikari called Fever Breaker. There's a new finisher for Lucky Rushdown. Everything on Hikari except for his counter and rough energy was nerfed. The bounce of twofold kick is more consistent. The special variant for Reversal Red now deals less damage. A bug with Gojo's normal special not teleporting you if the distance was too far was fixed. The hitbox for Lucky Volley was increased. A bug with Akari's R special, teleporting you to some random spot in the map, was fixed. The starter for overwhelming luck was reduced. A bug where you couldn't travel through uncollidable walls was fixed. A bug where rapid punches didn't do the finisher was fixed. Finally, the duration for Pity Jackpot, aka the jackpot you get after three failed scenarios, was increased to 50 seconds, up from 40. Now it's time for analysis, and on that front, there's quite a bit to dig into. Let's start with Akari's new move, since that's the most interesting of the bunch. Fever Breaker is a blockable kick that comes out practically as fast as Gojo's two-fold kick. It's honestly useless for neutral, at least in my opinion, but it is pretty good for combos. I found from testing that you can turn your camera to reduce how much you get knocked back by a move, and I've been able to follow that up with reserve balls for some combo potential. It's not a bad move, kind of a good close-range move, but I honestly don't see much potential in it combat-wise. However, it is an absolute blast to use, looks very cool, and is in line with the whole theme of Jujutsu shenanigans, which is pure chaotic fun. So that's not really a problem for me. Hikari's base kit is good enough that having a great fourth move isn't necessary anyways. If there's something I'm missing about it by the way, let me know in the comments. Hikari getting his whole kit except for the counter and rough energy nerfed really was not that noticeable for me. I hopped into some fights with Akari, and I didn't feel crippled or anything from seeing him get nerfed. I did notice that his combos dealt slightly less damage, but however CZ did his nerfs, they weren't harsh enough to gut Hakari, and I think balance-wise, he's in a fine state right now. Reducing the startup for overwhelming luck isn't bad. The startup before was incredibly long, which did make it feel a little bit awkward to use. New startup speed is good in my opinion, though the move itself feels very oppressive to fight against honestly. However, that makes sense since Akari's mode is meant to be overpowered, so I'm not going to complain about that. Increasing Lucky Volley's hitbox was not noticeable for me, but I don't say that in a bad way. If I'm not noticing anything, that's usually a good thing. It doesn't feel broken or anything, so whatever happened, it's not a problem. The increasing of the duration of Pity Jackpots is pretty good for unlucky people. It means that if you have terrible luck and get your jackpot from rolling it 3 times total, you aren't punished that harshly for something you have no control over. This is an update that I don't mind, honestly, since I personally dislike RNG making huge decisions over who wins a fight. This still keeps the RNG element, but it minimizes it a little bit, which I think is nice. Finally, the two other things I want to talk about have to do with Gojo. Twofold Kick's bounce being made consistent is great. It was ridiculously buggy before, and this makes doing combos feel a lot more in your control rather than people lagging out and screwing everything up. The other thing is a reversal red special nerf, which holy crap is harsh. This nerf made the move go from doing pretty decent damage to basically tickling the opponent. Honestly, with how hard this nerf is, I'm not sure why you would go for this move since it consumes your special and your red for tickle damage. Might be a bit of an overstep in my opinion, but Gojo did deserve a nerf. I'm just not sure if this was a thing that should have been nerfed out of all the stuff he has, and also the extent feels a little bit too much. Overall, this update makes Akari feel a lot more complete, and takes the final steps towards turning him from an early access character into a finished one. He only needs one more awakening move, and he'll be done, and I'm interested to see what CZ does for his final move. Since his awakening is based on rushdowning and knockbacks, it might be along those lines, but if CZ gives his awakening a combo extender, that would also make sense too. There's really nothing I can do to accurately predict what CZ might do with the final Kakari move, so you can only wait and see. Though if you want to theorize in the comments or make suggestions, feel free to do that. 
I personally like this update for finishing up the parts of Ikari that needed to be finished first. And as a whole, it's cool. That's it for my analysis. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more stuff like this, because it helps me yap about more Roblox games, and also lets you be notified of these yap sessions. I'm Noob Eternally, have a nice day, and leave any opinions you have about the update in the comments below. Bye.